And for our viewers, how long have you been uh, in this? How long have you been battling? Dude, we're getting we're getting old now, right? <laughs> uh, two thousand end of two thousand nine was my first fight. So first so fight two thousand nine. Over ten years. Yeah. And and when did you when did you know you wanted to be a fighter? When when did that become a dream for you? You know, um, it wasn't ever like a thing that I planned for a long time. Like we met in I was grade ten, you were grade eleven. Yeah. In high school, that's how we kind of kicked it off. And uh, I wasn't training at all then. But you remember when, like, uh, you remember Gavin? You know, yeah, Gavin? yeah. He would yeah. come to the school and do, like, that. Absolutely. I grappled yeah, with him a few shit? times. So that's kind of my first taste of it. And he himself is, is quite the story. Uh, oh, Gav, yeah. Gav quite, is quite a cool really story. Cool Defying the odds yeah. and, you know, positive thinking. And, yeah. and that's kind of a you're about, I'm about, yeah. which is which is nice. But yeah, uh, that's, yeah, he, he kind of, you know, gave me the first, like, Taste of it. it. And I, was, I always loved watching it. Like, I used to watch the prize and the UFCs and shit all the time. But, um, and then, so, you know, when he came in, I was so excited to go on the mats. And, and I remember grappling with guys. And I did pretty good. So I was a tiny guy, too. Like, but I just tried shit, you know. I remember grappling. Uh, it was like a grade 9, 10 class or 10, 11 class split. And uh, I beat, like, everybody. We did, like, a tournament style of Omarod's class. Yeah. And I ended up going with Keenan in the finals. I remember Keenan beat me. He was an enormous basketball star. Massive. <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of where I got the first little taste of it. And I was like, man, I, I like this shit. It's uh, it's not the dog in the fight. It's the fight yeah. the dog. And yeah. uh, you're one tough guy. I uh, you know, I probably have a little over 100 pounds on you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've tried to tap you out way back in our university oh, yeah. days. Yeah, we had some good little... And, and we had some nice tilts, which, uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, bug each other and piss each yeah. other off. But yeah. good days in university. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I just remember even, like, you know, high school, us uh, working out together in that class, mm -hmm. um, and, like, you were 110, 115 pounds soaking wet, oh, yeah. you know, in grade 10, <laughs> and you were, you know, we were pushing each other to yeah. the limits, and, you know, you were up to, like, 230-plus pounds. Yeah, man, and, and that, was, that was working out with you. Um, I was weight training. The, we had a class from weight training. It was yeah. awesome. And, uh, yeah, I remember you, you came from Newman. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know who this guy was. <laughs> <laughs> in my class, and we just started, yeah, just pumping the weights. And I was I was just trying to keep up. Like, with you, first started with you, and then uh, later on, it was Wheeler, too. Yeah. My buddy Brett, he was always a big, strong, strong guy. guy. So I was Absolutely. always trying to keep up with him, and it just made me stronger. Right? Absolutely. You know, like, I, that obviously, you know, you're a beast, uh, <laughs> you know. I think pound for pound, strongest guy I definitely know. Um, Thanks, so you know, it's, that, it's testament to your your, your willpower and your uh, you know your positive mindset, which is yeah. something I think definitely you know propels successful people forward. Yeah, I mean, in not just what I do, but everything. 